Hey, 12th graders, Mr. Ermer here again, whether you have me in class or not. Uh, I'm uh, just providing an example, an explanation of what this assignment is here today on Wednesday, September 9th. All right, we've got a slideshow. I'll walk you through it, and then I'll show you an example of, it, uh, of how I uh, attempted to um, accomplish this on, on an example set of images. We're currently living through history. Your experiences, opinions, and questions matter about how you receive the information. Um, from the media as it as it helps us understand this uh, historical time. So what we're going to be doing um, is we're going to be asking you to review six sets of images, not just six pictures. It's going to be six, six sets of pictures. And each one, we're going to ask you, each set you see, we're going to ask you to do two things. One, what do you notice in these images? Do you know things about them? Uh, do you uh, have you heard about these images? Have you experienced them and have had some kind of emotional, uh, emotionally charged interaction with these images? And after you review those things about uh, the things you already know about these images, uh, we want you to ask yourself, what type of questions do you still have about these images? Um, or what, uh, what type of curiosities do you have? All right, we've got this document you're going to be interacting with. You can find this in Schoology. It's a PDF here. I've got it pulled up. I'm going to read the directions, make sure you, everything's crystal clear, and then uh, you'll be on your way. As you look at and consider each of the six photographs, again, there's more than six photographs. We made six sets of images. So consider them together. Uh, you can compare them. You can contrast them and uh, consider them um, grouped together. Uh, write down specific things you notice about the person or event. Next, write down things you wonder uh, as you consider that person or event. So uh, you'll notice there's, I notice, I wonder, side by side. I notice, I wonder. Uh, three, four, five, six sets of these, I notice, I wonders. All right. Um, and here they are. Here are the six sets uh, of images. Here's one, two, three, four, five and six. So as you go through your, uh, your worksheet today, um, you put them here. So the first set, um, you do a notice section here, and then you do your wonder section afterwards here. I'm gonna do an example for you. Uh, these images are not part of your assignment. I added these, you won't see these, uh, but I'm just gonna kind of process for you uh, things. I notice on these two images, uh, and things I wonder about. All right, so I already processed it for you. I wanna make these videos um, as effectively, or using your time as effectively as possible. But here's uh, how I processed. I saw these images. I looked at uh, these two dogs. You got this smiley one over here and this angry little bugger over here. And I noticed these are both dogs. First of all, there weren't any cats. I noticed one is happy and one seemingly angry. And the happy dog is outside. And the angry dog is surrounded by white space. That's what I noticed. I don't know uh, much more about the breed. This might be a chihuahua. I don't even know about that. What is this, a shimo Eno? I don't know dog breeds. I didn't really notice much about that. I just noticed one, this, this guy, that's definitely a dog smile. That is a uh, I'm a messy up dog face. So it made me wonder. This is, uh, this is what I wondered about from these images. I wonder if the angry dog isn't angry because it is stuck in space. <laughs> Maybe uh, I wonder if this dog isn't a space dog gone crazy. I mean, it's in a vacuum over here. There's no, uh, you know, there's no cabbage. I don't see any pumpkin patch in its background. It doesn't have any insects or smells. Oh my gosh. I wonder if this dog uh, is really upset because they can't smell things. Dogs love smelling. I wonder if the dog is angry because it has nothing good to smell. So look at all these wonderful thoughts and considerations I had just from looking at these images. Uh, and that's what you're gonna be asked to do. So again, you've got this document, download it, put in notability, uh, each set, of images you're gonna do an I notice and I wonder for. I just wanted to clarify again, it says there's only six photographs. Well, we, uh, each slide represents uh, a set of photographs. Consider them all together. And be well, 12th grade, so I've seen you and we'll be seeing you again real shortly.